we are buying EV cars and scooters to save the energy and environment. About 10 million electric cars have been sold worldwide in 2023. Isn't it surprising? A new technology is selling in such a big number just to save the environment or a marketing gimmick. When a common man purchases an electric car, the company often makes big promises about its features. However, these features are faded after a short time by emerging out the inherent limitation of electric vehicles. Let's know some important facts about EVs. Electric vehicle runs on battery. Mostly lithium-ion batteries are used in EVs, which is also used in our mobile phones and laptops. Lithium-ion batteries are quite popular all over the world due to their long-lasting and quick charging capabilities, but all for low-power applications. It is well known that lithium-ion batteries have many limitations and cannot withstand too much temperature variation. Very few people know the truth that lithium-ion battery works properly for 10 to 35 degrees C. Temperature range only. Even in this range, the efficiency of the lithium-ion battery starts falling on high speed. In winter, electric vehicles experience reduced efficiency due to several factors of charging oblique discharging. First, the battery electrolytes increased viscosity slows down the movement of ions within the battery. Additionally, higher charge transfer resistance leads to decreased lithium diffusivity in the electrode. As a result, chemical reactions in the battery occur at a low speed in low temperatures, affecting energy conversion and storage both. Consequently, battery's capacity and power decrease. Even well-known EV models witness their optimal range prescribed by company is reduced by 30% when temperature drops below 15 degrees C. A typical EV with a 300 km range may only travel 1 km or less in cold conditions. Users are often not informed about this secret while purchasing an electric car scooter. As the temperature rises, the charge transfer resistance at electrode electrolyte interface and solid electrolyte interface increases in lithium ion batteries. It occurs because the solid electrolyte interface SEI layer starts getting thicker with higher temperature that leads to reduced ionic diffusion. Hence, more heat is generated due to the movement of lithium ions and car power loss increases further. Unfortunately, excessive heat can damage battery components, especially the cathode, where the oxidation of the electrolyte takes place and it increases the battery resistance, which further reduces the battery efficiency. Additionally, certain electrolytes like lithium phosphofluoride decompose at elevated temperatures. Despite the present efforts, the heat generated by the battery cannot always be effectively dissipated, especially in summer, for large battery packs. Rising temperatures can trigger undesired reactions within the battery, leading to thermal runaway. Thermal runaway means excessive heat generation from the current flowing during battery charge or overcharge. In such a situation, battery may explode or become dead. Today, user is finding that even in optimal weather, some EVs go much below their advertised driving ranges. Apart from this, C rate, that is charging rate, also affects the efficiency of the battery. To increase the life of the battery, AC charging should be preferred instead of super fast DC charging. DC fast charging can be used occasionally, but in that condition, battery should be charged to 80 to 90 percent instead of 100 percent. Let me share my personal experience with you. Over the past 16 months, I am using an EV car manufactured by a leading car company in India. Initially, the performance of the EV was admirable, but after a year, it began encountering charging issues. Initially, it used to get fully charged in 10 hours, but now it takes 14 to 15 hours of charging. EV companies are not informing customers about the seasonal changes and its challenge faced by EVs and the battery degradation of 2.3% also occurs each year. It means, it means loss of energy each year. EV, car, scooter companies hide hard facts from user. The above stated EV losses secrets are directly from the user for 16 months in Delhi. 
In next video, I will disclose the name of the company I have experienced as EV driving. I opener on EV losses. First, lithium batteries of an EV car lose about 35 to 40 percent energy in e-single charging for at least five months in a year during winter and summer seasons in Delhi. It means claimed EV range of 300 km decreases to 180 km. Second, EV motor gets weaker in efficiency each year due to magnet weakening. Third, battery degradation happens 2.3% each year. Fourth, fast charging of lithium batteries degrades battery faster but slow charging takes long hours to charge. Fifth, driving EV at high speed, lithium batteries degrades faster. Presently, lithium ion batteries have limited energy density affecting the distance EVs can cover. Proper disposal and recycling of used batteries are equally vital. Considering the limited battery life of electric vehicles, a huge amount of e-waste is expected to pile up in the future. Billions of tons. This raises a critical issue. Are we truly benefiting the environment by adopting electric vehicles or are we unconsciously contributing to pollution? I request all viewers to share their views, suggestions in comment box. By now, you must be well aware of the challenges associated with battery operated cars. If you are planning to purchase an electric vehicle, don't solely rely on the company's big claims instead. Consider factors like your local environment, climate and personal needs to determine whether an electric vehicle will truly serve you well or lead to regret. Thank you.